Hello everyone and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Today we are hoping to go after the Akala Citadel. Um, we should be able to. We have a bunch of people ready. We have to bring Link and Zelda to this one and one more. And we also, I just noticed, we have another mission down here somewhere. Let me see where it is. My guy just yelled at me to do it and I'm trying to figure out where it was. Right here. Outpost, de Outpost Defenders. Um, recommended level 26. This looks like an optional mi um, one. Yep, this is an optional one, but we are not a high enough level for it yet. Um, so we're not going to do that quite yet. Um, what we are going to do, um, get ready to go over here. Um, we are going to, since this is a level 25... We're going to spend just a moment to spend a little bit of our money to level up our side characters. So Link is level 28. We're going to level up Zelda to the level 25 that requires to get us another um, heart. Mifa doesn't get a heart at that level. She's got a heart left. She's one heart below. Um, and let's spend a little time leveling... Level... Level... level ah... I had tongue twisted there, guys. Little money leveling our side character. It's a little Impa because she tends to come with us. Even though I don't particularly like her. Let's see if we can level Daruk to another heart. We can, but it's going to cost most of our money. So let's get him to level 22. Um, let's get Urbosa to level 22. Um, and that way, the three side champions are level 22. Impa, who tends to follow us everywhere, is level 25. Zelda's 25. Mifra is level 26. And Hestu, who I don't even know is going to follow us, is 23. Oh. So I don't really care about Hestu too much right now. Um, we'll wait and see if Hestu continues with us. Um, we've got some Divine Beast missions we can do a little bit later. Um, and we'll probably get those done. Um, we will be coming and checking out some of these other missions. Probably... I'm going to say next episode. Um, I definitely want to do uh, some more of these to get up those levels. But first off, where's, this, where's our actual mission? Right here. Akala Tower. Um, no, I want to bring Mifa. We have to bring Best Girl. Um, we've got the Master Sword on Link. Oh, we have the Champion's Tunic and the Hylian Trousers. Let's put the hood on. I like the hood. I always like the hood in the game. That's what we're going to bring. Um, yeah, that looks good. We got the Master Sword. Nice level 5. Um, Zelda's got the Ancient Memory part equipped. Level 7. Um, we should probably up that up a little bit. Her damage is really low compared to our other two. Um, could invest in that at some point. In cooking, let's see what we're going to cook. We could increase our perfect dodge timing window. We're not super great at that. Um, I'm not sure what we need. We can increase our damage or our movement speed. Excuse me. Um, um, that's a lot harder to cook for only 2%. I think I'm just going to cook 5% experience. I've got three people coming with us. And this is a pretty nice level. Let's just do that. Let's go do it. Akala Tower. It's one of my favorite locations in the actual game. As the pilots learned how to manipulate the arcane machinery of their divine beasts, Pura led a research expedition to the otherworldly edifice that had appeared on Hyrule Field. This Sheikah Tower was far from the only one of its kind. In fact, such structures were embedded deep in the earth throughout the kingdom their emergence controlled by a device inside Hyrule Castle. To activate the control device, they would have to bond the Sheikah Slate with a Sheikah Tower. Zelda, Pura, and the champions set out to do just that. I wonder if we get to control Pura at some point.
the fat. Studying relics again, hmm? Fa Father! You think you have time to busy yourself with things like that? Maybe. Oh, <laughs> you annoyed the little thing. Oh, that's a curse in Bebanese, so be careful. That's why they're not translating it. It's a game's ready to eat for everyone. Or T. I actually don't know what this game's ready to eat. This is from a long time ago. It's a relic I found one day while Mother and I were out exploring. Oh, now you feel bad? She's dead. Feel bad. Mother and I, we discussed it at some length together. It seemed special, like it might hold hidden powers. Yeah, because ordinary things glow. That would make sense. Even after all this time, I've yet to unravel its purpose. But Father, if you allow me to uncover the meaning behind such relics, I believe it could help us to... Enough! That is not for you to determine. Girls shouldn't read. It doesn't mean I won't continue with my training, Father. But I also want... I want to... Explore all options to do everything that I can. Even so, it seems that you are avoiding your duty. I will allow it for now. But do not forget your mission. But no wonder he was a ghost. He must feel really bad about how much he messed up this kingdom. Link, get off your knees. You're the hero of everything. You really don't need to bow at this point. Like, you're the savior of Hyrule. Like, do you see the crest all around? You have that on your hand, or you should. Like, when you get born with the Triforce on your hand, oh, you got clan. You don't really have to bow anymore. So, if they can fix that Sheikah thingamajig, what does that mean for me? I mean, us. That thingamajig. Nice catch. We'll tell them where we are and what we're doing. Our cover would be I mean, everyone knows where your hideout is. It's marked on a map. <laughs> Measures are being taken. Huh? Soon you'll each have your own parts to play. Ooh. I hope I get to play the innkeeper. I play a mean innkeeper. Respect, sugar. This is effective. Have more cannon. <coughs> Apologies. <laughs> this guardian is possessed by Calamity Ganon, harbinger of destruction. With it, I will bring this world to its knees. <laughs> Manaya Collab. Check. Seer. Calamity Ganon is not for mortals to control. I, I mean, Ganon was immortal. So, I mean, he just reincarnates. But Link and Zelda do that too, so. It's not like he was birthed from an ancient immortal deity or anything, cough, cough, demise. What is a claptrap? My iPad is tingling. Oh, oh, sorry, just spam email. Wow, I'm getting a wicked sense of deja future. And sorry, was that your chicken poop? Wait, why are they all flying at me? Oh, I'm dead now. She got way too excited yes, about that. You did wonderfully. And she got way too little excited about that. One down, Somewhere in the middle. Okay, how does Link get down? Zelda and the others had successfully activated the central tower. Under Porter's guidance, they embarked on a mission to restore the ancient structures all across Hyrule. I swear if Link could talk, he'd be like, next time, when do you get to climb the tower? 
They had no notion that a shadowy foe was amassing all its might to disrupt their quest. Except for Ganon. The party headed for Akala, where the final tower awaited, as did a Yiga clan ambush. I mean, that's sort of what the Yiga clan does, so I feel like you should just expect the Yiga clan all the time. Like, at no point should you not be expecting a Yiga clan ambush. Just like walking down the street, Yiga clan ambush. Going to get, you know, you know, what is it? Mighty Bananas, Yiga clan ambush. Like, you should extra expect it around the bananas. <gasps> oh, I do not want to be right here. This is the last place I want to be. Look at what's behind me. I feel like this is the worst place to be. Like, I do not want my backs to guardians around Calamity Ganon. Like, I have nightmares. Thank you! See? Look, look. If those things start beeping at me, I, I, I still have, like, PTSD from the game with that. Oh, okay. That might actually be helpful. I always forget he can do that. Kenny, 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 Kenny. Do it, do it. Activate the thing. Okay. Why is there a rock there? No objective. Yeah, activate the thingy. Activate the thingy? Hey, little guy. Little guy. Oh, yeah. Ow, that trapped me? You know what? Eat Master Sword. Good boy. Ow. You are just as annoying. Hey, no. No. Bad. Don't do that. Now think about what you've done. Give me a spear. You, there's three of you. Can you not beat it? Barbosa, just hit it with lightning. Ow. Hey, you. No. No. Now? Think about what you've done. Good timing, Zelda. Okay? He was dead. I swear there's only one of them, and they never really die, they just teleport. No, no, no beeping, beeping. Beeping, no beeping. Good thing his aim is good. If, like, he wasn't, it would have, like, hit the, um, bridge and we all be screwed. Okay, we're gonna play, uh, Mifa. Because I like Mifa a little more than Link. Me swim, 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 me dive. And I can do that. Hey, you. Go off the bridge. Can I get off? Oh, I can well jump off the bridge, though. And I can also heal Link by doing this. You sit here with me. Link, you're supposed to stand next to me so I can kill you. No, 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 no. Ooh, can I? Where's Link? Hey, you guys? Here. Let's actually use this ability to heal someone else like it's supposed to be able to. I heard it can heal others. Did I heal Link with it? I did! This is so good. One, two, three, four. Set that up. And then I can dive out of it. Does that set me directly into that? Oh, it does set me directly into this combo. That's really neat. Link, can you kill that? 
Link, can you kill us? Can you kill us on your own? Zelda? Oh, they comboed together. That was so cute. Wait, I'm me I'm supposed to be jealous of that. No. Link, and after I healed you, you go and team with her? Oh. Fine, be that way. I'm gonna go take this. Wait. I'm going this way. I don't have a time limit. I want to see what's over here. I'm going the completely wrong way. What's this? Oh no. No, 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 no. If I have to carry a blue flame in this game. No, no, no. What's this do? Oh. Is there a blue flame down here that I have to carry up to that to do something? I swear, if I have to carry a blue flame to that, I'm going to... Okay, okay. Faithful Kodachi. Do I have anyone that uses a Kodachi? Oh, is that what Impa uses? What is it? Oh, Link can use those. Those are two-handed swords. Like, duh. Okay. That's the thingies. Also, why is there lava everywhere? Um, those are the thingies you get from... The Yiga guys that shoot wind. Ha ha ha. Wait a minute. Yeah. Ha, ha. Got one. Those that open up my expansion things and all that kind of fun stuff. Nice. I'm probably going to have to do something with these later. So I'm in the wrong. I, I decided to go to a place I didn't need to go yet, obviously, because I wanted to explore. But the fact that there's no enemies or anything here makes me worried for later. Okay, we're going to go where I actually have to go. We're going to go this way because I got. It's called flanking. Called a flanking maneuver. Look, it's called a flanking maneuver. See, I don't even mind getting hurt because I can, I can like heal myself. I'll jump. Get myself in the air. Get behind him. Hit him be the only one to start hitting him. <laughs> it was up before you started running. How stupid can you be? I mean, he did join Yiga. That's like almost as bad as joining Team Rocket. Like... Like, what, do they hire? Is their dental plan good? Why would you join Team Yiga? Like, look at all these people. Activate. Oh, oh, it's apparently... In the next hundred years, they can't just activate themselves. I have to carry my own blue flame. Yeah, they have chalkboards. Up we go, up we go. Shields. I wish there was a different attack that could heal me. Like, I wish her attack just anything that used water had life steal, but that might be too powerful. As it is, she's one of the strongest characters in the game. We 
know what? You know what? You know what? Drown on a bridge. You know what? Teleporting? Not kosher. It's not like I don't teleport all over the place. Success. Defeated. Zora Spear. Mighty Bananas. Like, hey, it's not, like, you should not teleport around a map. That's just not cool. You definitely should not use a giant, like, hydro thing to kill yourself back up to full after taking damage. All right. So, Link, head here. Zelda, you're free to go towards here, please. And I'll go to the other direction. You guys go there. I'll start heading to this one. Because we got after four of these. And that's why we split our troops up. Actually, Zelda, can you go here instead? I want to capture this. Oh, I can't get that. Can't, can't get that yet. She, I want Zelda to stay here. In case I can do something here. As I activate these things. Yeah, I want Zelda to hold these that point. Because I feel like as I do this, I might be able to unlock that. Haha, I was right. I have to... I'm going to put Zelda... That's not the right button. Zelda at the symbol first. We're just going to kill us really quick. I don't feel like dealing with this. Yep, we're just going to do quick damage. We're just going to do quick damage on this guy. And we're going to activate the furnace. Open our chest. And Bob's your uncle. We got it. Then we'll get the next one. Make sure these guys die pretty quickly so that they don't retake the furnace. Because apparently Urbosa can't hold this place on her own. Even though if I was piloting her, she could. Stop it. Don't do that. Make me heal. Link is it Link. Where's Zelda going? No, Zelda, make your way back here. Yes, thank you. Turn around. Where are you going? Uh, I'll take over, Link. Thank you. Make your way back there. Link, make your way down there. I don't know why Urbosa is doing that when I can't pilot her. Like, why are you even bother? Like, shouldn't you actually be doing something useful? Uh, kill all of these guys. Man, there are so many Giga Clan. Like, in the future, there's like five of them. At least I don't have to stealth by them. Alright, let's get this thing done. Who's the good guy? There he is. Get up in here. No, don't, don't hit the thing. No. Weakest point. I gotta remember to dash into it when they're weakened. That's really good. Activate. Okay, we're gonna leave Mifa here. We're gonna take Link. Now we're gonna start piloting Link. Blue Boblins. 
Oh, that's a lot of it. Okay, can they actually destroy them? Throw the, throw the bombs. Well, let's hit the spinny thing. Where's the other one? Alright, cool. Got it. The blue Moblin has a lot of life left. But we got him down, which is good. Point. It's gonna be a skull crusher? Nope. Investigate the simple furnace. Cool. Oh, we got chests. Oh, we got a silver chest. Endure a shroom. I don't actually know what that's gonna do in this game, but I like it. Whee. Oh, there's a blue Lazal fence. This thing's like, oh. Just gonna ride that. More blue moblins. Get on. This is not black ones. Black ones are tough. Up we go. Yeah, these things hit hard. Actually, they don't hit that hard. Oh. Ow, stop, stop. Three point slash. Sure, now you do a skull crusher when I want you to hit both of them. Oh, I hit both of them. Alright, we got all four of them lit. Alright, let's activate the guardian instance. Oh! That surrounded me. Bombs are us. Blow up. All right, and that's why we have this, and that's why I left Zelda here. To the door. And that's why I left Zelda right there, because I had a feeling yeah. the Guardian is in Rampage. Run away. Do I have to fight the Guardian? Nope. All right, cool. Where are we going? Let's go take the Citadel over here. This is so cool to see this not in ruins, though. Ah, keys. Like, Akala Citadel was one of the best parts of, um, uh, Breath of the Wild. Like, climbing the Citadel was just really neat. Ooh, more money. Um... You know, it's this huge place that's overrun by, um, Calamity and Guardians and things. It's like your first real taste at dealing with, um, kind of like a dungeon outside of the Divine Beasts. Um, and I know a lot of people had a problem that they didn't think that Breath of the Wild had dungeons. And I'm like, D did you not do a Call of Citadel? D did you, do you not understand that these are basically dungeons? Um, Skyward Sword had a similar thing where the outside areas... Ooh, that's a big guy. Um, had dungeons outside. And it was the outside areas that were just as much dungeons as the inside. Um, they actually took the same kind of... Um, design philosophy that the entire game was just one dungeony area after another. Oh. I should have saved my kill. She is not great at fighting these things one on one. Can do I think 
into it, hit bombs. I'm gonna hit the bombs on all of them. It does a lot of damage. And blow them up. Get in the air. Neat. That actually counts as the bomb explosion. Get the thing dead. All right. What I was saying was, okay, that was just a little hectic dealing with two wizards wiz at once. Um. Um. Where's the other wizard? There it is. Um. Is in um Breath of the Wild the. Um, the outdoor areas can act as sort of mini dungeons. Just like in Skyward Sword, they took the approach that each outdoor area, while not really like an adventure area, should be treated like a dungeon. So you see, especially like, um, I forget what they're called, like the ruins where you learn, um, how to use the uh, scarab beetle um, in the time mechanic. Um, those ones, I want to say it's desert area. I, I haven't played Skyward Sword for a few years. Um, they very much. Ooh, big hearty radish. Those are so good. Um, mm -hmm. um, they really are treated like an outdoor dungeon. So. You have something similar being done in Breath of the Wild, where they treat this entire region as a dungeon. So, you have to approach it, you have to climb it, and you this whole encounter is really challenging, um, especially depending on when you approach, try to do it. If you try to do it fairly early in the game, it is really hard. Um, you're fight you're trying to stealth past guardians that you probably can't defeat. Um, and um, or you're using up precious resources um, that you really can't afford to use up. If you um, things like your legendary arrows. I want to see what's in this room. Oh, this is the tower. Ooh, there's a chest. Um, giant. Ooh, giant ancient core. All right. Glad I came in this room. Um. So it's really, um, so it's a good example of that in Breath of the Wild. Um. And there's a few other. All of the towers do a really good job of that, in my opinion. Something's leaping there. Recapture the Citadel. Oh, it's Zelda. Uh, we're going to use Mipha for this fight, because Zelda is not a great one-on-one -on -one duelist. Um, she's good for clearing mobs of enemies, and she's not a horrible character, but she is not the best one-on-one -on -one fighter. Um, you know, she's pretty good at dealing, dealing with mobs. Um, and she's actually super good at dealing with multiple big enemy bosses if she has her ultimate up. Um, her ultimate is really powerful for kidding um, um, multiple mid-tier enemies. Uh, does a ton of damage to them. But she's not very mobile. So, um, she doesn't do the best, ah, more of these, um, she doesn't do the best when it comes to fighting one guy at once, like this. Um, I would much rather bring 
Mifa for this fight. Who cannot only, um, whoa, that's a Lionel. Yeah, especially if I'm dealing with Lionels. But especially if I need something to can heal. Um, you know, she has the ability to heal, heal well. And, um, you know, that just was like another part. You know, her power is much stronger when it comes to these kind of fights. And I can be Flash. And I don't know if this is actually going to kill a Lionel one bit either. I don't think it's going to. No, this is a tough mini boss. Good flurry rush, though. That's what I needed. I got a Floy Rush on too, that's good. That's a really good hit. Oh, another Floy Rush, nice, weak point slash. Um, yeah, like, Zelda would have a really hard time dealing with this fight. Um, just because of how slow she is in moving. Um, her damage is also not very great. I need to upgrade a weapon, we were just talking about that. Oops, this got hurt. Take armor. That's gonna help that. Get yeah, flurry rush on him, knife. This might be enough to actually. Nope, not quite. But this will. That'll be enough to kill him. I had a red fire I can get. Ooh, new finisher? Oh, brutal. That's a gold Lionel Guts. That's really nice. And some treasure. Um, but see, I can also just kind of sit here, and I can heal up a little with her if I need to. And when she gets her ability back, it'll give me a full heal for her. Which is really one of the reasons why I was using her, is because um, her room clear is going to give me a heal. Um, compared to Zelda, who would just kind of have to rely on apples. But anyway, what I was talking about was... Uh, let's actually clear the back room first. Keith. Um, get this gear with the clear. Like, this is a nice clear, and it's going to give me a full uh, multi-heart heal. I cannot um, give me apples. Oh, found Fugo. Um, this is really nice. Give me another clear from all that damage I did. I cannot Wonderful. Um, so yeah, um, they really like to do this new style. And a lot of people do say, wow, there's no dungeons. Um, they do. They just do it a different style than they used to. Um, you know, the original Legend of Zelda, back on the Nintendo, they treat the entire world as a dungeon in a lot of ways. You know, the moment you load into the game, you're given this big outdoor area that, you know, it's, da you know, you know, dangerous to go alone. Here, take this. You know, here's your, um, yeah, it's a banana stash, just like in DK. Um, um, your sword, and now you're in the world. The whole game is a dungeon. 
How did you even get in here? Um, you know, it's not like, all right, I, I'm, I'm in a very linear story-driven path until I find my first dungeon. Yeah, that's not Zelda. Um, you know, it's all about the freedom. You know, and they sort of, I think they lost that a little bit in later ones. I'm going to be doing a, um, an in-depth thing in Zelda in a bit. Where I talk about that a little bit more. Um, because I think that one of the best things, um, about Breath of the Wild, and hopefully they keep in Breath of the Wild too, is how much freedom they give you. Um, Get everything in here real quick. I cannot move. Perfect. I tell this. Nice. Go here. Um. And if you look at even the older games, like they had a little bit. Um, if you look at something like Link to the Past, there was a little bit of an intro. Um. Uh, but then it just kind of gave you a hint on where to go, and then set you out on the world. Oh, this is a harder room. Get more room. Here we go. More room clear. Hey, I got a fully rush on Suga when I wasn't even aiming at him. Trying to kill Blade Master. Nice. Plus, this is going to hit Suga for a lot of damage because her ultimates, her finishing moves are huge. And then I can hit him for and get a nice heal off of that. I love that hers heal. I really do. It's like the best thing. You gonna wimp out again? You gonna leave? Uh, from behind. I think I got one more. Oh no, I killed him. That might be the end of the fight. We, my bananas. Yes, we have all the bananas. Indeed. It will not serve us well. Actually, if memory serves, this is one of the last things, um, uh, like to hold on to. Like this was one of the last places to fall. So it did pretty well. Did pretty well. Got a Moblin Club, Enhanced Lizalph Sphere, Traveler's Claymore, in the Lizal Boomerang. Wow. We got a lot for Zelda. We'll have to spend some money upgrading her. Traveler's Spear. Very nice. Mifa cannot carry any more weapons. I forgot to do that. Um, well, let's sell that. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, that's a high resale rate. Let's sell that. The faithful Kodachi was for her. Okay, I was completely wrong. Well, that's got a double plus attack, special attack damage. If I was ever planning on using her, that would be really useful. Mushroom rice balls. Sheikah rune damage. That would be useful for a Zelda level. Nice view. Tower is also nice too. Oh, what a magnificent I'm view. just saying what Link probably so is thinking. <laughs> Thank you, Claptrap. Pura, have you found anything yet? Yes, I hate heights. So by bonding this with the Sheikah's, what's that? Pura? Listen, Princess. These towers have got a lot of power hiding inside. The Sheikah towers were designed to scan their surroundings for Calamity Ganon. 
When we activate them, the terminals load the Sheikah slate with a map of the area. We know, we all played Breath of the Wild. Nearby and locate monsters as easy as click snap. They don't do that in the game. We can track down the enemy and take them by surprise. Precisely! <laughs> and she dies like that. Rather than just telling you about it, why don't I give you a little demo? It's like, but I already played the demo to this game. See, we just locate them on the map here, and then we press this button, and all four Divine Beasts shoot them at once. It's called Operation Star Wars. And we nuke them from orbit. What's orbit? Never mind. Sooner or later, they'll stop giving me new things. Maybe. Alright, everyone, welcome to Getting New Events with Zarku. Wow. I don't know where to begin. They want me to do that. I think that's a fairy fountain. But we'll look at that next time. Alright, everyone, thank you for joining me. As always, if you like my content, like, comment, subscribe, um, and follow me for more. And thank you for joining me on for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.